One day, the great pharaoh of Egypt was watching over his people. He had been pharaoh for many years and loved his empire and all the people in it. He was a kind ruler, but felt that he could offer his people more. He was thinking of making a new law to help them, but that would require many as they would have to go door to door in order to tell everyone the news. Then he had a thought. What his empire needed most of all was a more efficient way to spread his word. He could draw some pictures on something, he could then put it up in the main square where everyone could look upon it. He would call these new drawings hieroglyphs, so that each picture or glyph would have its own meaning. But what would he put these hieroglyphs on? It would take too long to carve these hieroglyphs into stone, so the pharaoh decided against this. Then he remembered the plants that he liked to look at on the Nile, and thought maybe he could make them into a form of material to write the hieroglyphs on. He ordered some servicemen to go down to the Nile to bring him the flowers. They then pounded them out into a sheet and treated the papyrus so that it would hold its shape. When the papyrus was finished, the pharaoh was quite happy with the product and wrote a religious text on it. The pharaoh and his empire were polytheistic, so he presented this text to the many gods in order to have them bless the papyrus. There are many statues of these gods within the palace, so he was able to leave the papyrus by their statues. The gods did bless the papyrus so that the rest of the empire could now use the papyrus to write hieroglyphs on so that they communicate with one another.